Greetings, it's Alliotations, Geo Nerds. So what's this thumping great big cave in the side of one of Brisbane's tallest hills got to do with this beautiful shopping centre in the south side of Brisbane in the 1970s in this particular picture? Look at the cars. And this 1800s British Army officer. Hang around, around. you'll find out together. Hey Geo Nerds, today we're going over the top. It's Mount Gravatt, part one. We're going to go up the hill today. Lots to look at. Part two, we're going to go down the other side. That will be in a few days' time. So anyway, hang on. Here comes the flying. Well, folks, here we are today over Victoria Park, actually, through the city. Oh, hang on. Oh, I missed it. Oh, you know, I always miss it. Heading out over, um, well, what is really Buranda and uh, the southern suburbs of Brisbane. There's Logan Road. There's actual Mount Cravat Shopping Centre down there. Not Garden City. That's not the Mount Cravat Shopping Centre. There's a Griffith University and here's the Mount. Oh, we just whizzed past. Give you an idea where it is. There's Mount Cuther in the background there and you can see the eastern flank where those houses are. That's where that cave is. We'll have a look at that in a bit. A few reservoirs up here. Not too many, surprisingly enough. I thought there'd be a lot more. There is some more being built. And there's a couple of big ones on the other side there. Um, radio infrastructure, look out on the top. We'll talk more about how that was built. We're going to walk right up that spine in front of us there and through that little uh, valley there. This place is very heavily eroded and it's really nice. Uh, so there we are. There's the little cafe there on top. We'll talk more about that in a sec too. I found several koalas in those trees. I've got some video of one we'll have a look at later. And uh, yeah, so this is part of the old microwave link, used to link Australia from one end to the other, back before we invented optic fibre. So that cafe there, it's not that old actually, it's called the Lovewell Cafe, here it is here. Not a sponsor of course, but a really cool place to be, look at the view. Anyway, let's get on with the story. Well here's our geological map, and the green is sedimentary, the purple is the uh, shales. And uh, we saw as we went up there, we hit some sedimentary rock here. That is the boundary as I see it on the ground. And that other purple circle is where the uh, uh, caves are. And they're definitely in sedimentary. So that green is sort of wrong. My boundary's there. The purple line heading up, that's where it actually is. Let's have a look at the topographic. No surprise there. It's a mountain 192 metres up. Hardly a mountain. But anyway, we'll let it go for now. About six, seven hundred feet, there's not much, but uh, it's pretty obvious where it is. Part of the touring range, really. Here's the lighter uh, again, no surprises here, except all the pads around the place. Uh, and I'll just put a ring where those caves are if you ever want to get there's a track goes down there. There's not much you can do now. Let's have a look at the cave actually. This is in the 1970s, it's uh, an interesting cave. It's of a, and that's the entrance to the top where the water goes in that carved it out. And this is what it used to look like inside. You can't go in there now because it's all collapsed. This is a, a pseudo-cast, this is cast country. Cast is in limestone where the water dissolves the rock. Here it just washes out the gravel. Anyway, let's have a look at the history of this place. Now this is Robert Dixon. He's a surveyor in Brisbane in the 1840s and he named the hill after this bloke. Well, this is sort of what he would look like. There are no photos of him, but that's the right thing. It's um, George Gravatt. Uh, this is what the area looked like around the turn of the century. Very rural, of course. These blokes came along and during the Depression year, they put a road up there as a work project. And uh, there's a few blokes driving on the road. Here's a surveyor mark up there and you don't want to mess with this because A, it's covered in epoxy and B, um, there's a fine of a hundred pounds. World War II, Triple A was there. Now these things are serious guns. These are three point seven inch AAA guns. They fire a round that looks like this. At that weighs thirteen kilograms and it goes up at three thousand feet per second. So that's why these things are around Brisbane. It's not to protect you from the Japanese bombs. There were half a dozen of those batteries around Brisbane with four to six guns in them. If they all started firing, it would be raining shrapnel for half an hour. If you weren't undercover, you're in serious trouble. Anyway, 
Let's have a bit of a walkabout. Go and look what. Let's go and see what this looks like on the ground. Well, folks, here we are at an unknown bus station on the south side of Brisbane. And today we're going to go over the top. And we're going to go over the top of Mount Gravatt. Interesting hill, mountain, hill, not sure, we'll find out. But uh, definitely got some good geology going on up there. And I think we're going to have a lovely day. We're out early, it's 8 o'clock on a Sunday morning. A bit of weather coming in this afternoon, so we're going to try and outrun that. Stick with me. Like we're crossing the footy fields, you know, the no-neck fields at the back of the uh, Griffith Uni here. And on the far side here, there's a nice cutting of very white rock. This lines up with the deposit that I saw up on the mountain a little while ago. Let's go and have a look at this. It looks interesting. This is supposed to be all part of the uh, Narrowly Fernbell beds. Now, the Narrowly Fernbell beds is a description of a very large variety of rocks from schist to shale to mudstones to argillites, etc. Well, this looks a whole lot like sandstone to me, but anyway, we'll see when we get there. So, folks, this is that rock wall we're walking towards. It's definitely a sandstone but it's full of little pebbles. You can see there's little pebbles in it. You look at the, uh, there's a piece of quartz in it there. And down here we have a layer of clay and it's purple and red. And it's got purple veins in it. It's an amazing piece of rock and it's weathered away to that sort of purpley red looking pipe clay there. This is unexpected. I love unexpected. Unexpected is good. Here it goes right back down at an angle, about 20 degrees, heading back into the ground. Here's the top of that bank where it's falling apart. You see the clay goes right to the surface. And if you look at the xenoliths show off, the little rocks that are included in this stuff, they're all rounded. So this is all, this is river rock that's been deposited either of a river or a lake. Probably a lake. Doesn't look like ocean sediment to me, but anyway. I'm only a geo nerd, what do I know? Well folks, one of the big mysteries solved. Where did Danger Mouse retire to? I think we found it, his secret lair. Or maybe not. Well folks, here's a very big boulder on the side of the road, on the side of the path here actually. Put my hand in it for scale. Look at the quartz vein through it. And it is a vein, it's highly mineralized, I'm talking. Just look at the colour of that. You can see it's a bit uh, wormy where the pyrites have dissolved out of it. Oh look who's going across the path there. It's a little snaky.
Hey folks, another one of these little fur-lined stoners. There he is. Well folks, we've made it to the top. A beautiful view of Brisbane today. A bit cloudy in the background, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. This is the first part of a second of two-part uh, video. The second part is the trip down the other side of Mount Gravatt, down the tracks, down past the caves and the reservoirs. Very interesting. Well, I thought it was interesting. The geology a lot more interesting on the other side. This side has been sedimentary down the bottom. As we got to the top, we started hitting the schist and the shales and the quartz. The other side, it's a bit different. So anyway, hang in there for that. That'll be ready in a few days. So. What about the shopping centre, Garden City? Well, I know, it's a bit of a suck in. I just love these old cars. But everyone refers to Garden Cities at Mount Gravatt. It is not at Mount Gravatt. It's at Upper Mount Gravatt. That's the big fallacy. It never was at Mount Gravatt. But anyway, uh, awesome shopping centre. I don't go there much. I don't like shopping centres. I don't like shops. No, there's not really much there I need. Everything I need, I'll buy on Amazon or eBay or, uh, you know, a shop uh, like... Uh, camping or fishing or something like that not really into that stuff but anyway hang in there thanks for watching thanks to all the new subscribers too uh what we're going to do now change the way we do this we're going to put out a few shorts sorry about talking to myself in the royal we let me get a bit schizophrenic as i get older so it's what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull a few shorts out of this and we'll have shorts we can now point a short to a video so i'll release some shorts that are excerpts of this that point to this video to you know help point people to the video anyway Keep rocking. T-Rock's out.